So, you're really being moved up two grades? Yep. I start middle school next week. <sighs> what am I going to do? You're my only friend. Everyone else just thinks I'm a bully. I'll still be there for you, Bert. And we'll always have Sunday school. Yeah, that's true. And you know, I've always got your back if anyone messes with you. Thanks, Bert. That means a lot. Well, I'm off to archery practice. See ya. Leo, did you see who that bully Bert is hanging out with? Two things, Ruby. One, Bert is not a bully. And two, I'm a little busy right now. I just figured because he's your best friend, you'd want to know that he's hanging out with Eagle Eye Edwards. Who's Eagle Eye Edwards? Oh, the coolest guy at school. Bert's hanging out with him? You better act quick before Bert dumps you forever. Bert won't abandon me. Just because he has a slightly cooler friend than me, he wouldn't, wouldn't do that. Wow, way to go, Eagle. Just a little trick I've been working on. Hey, Bert! Bert! Hey, it's Leo from Sunday School! Hi! Hello! Leo? Do you know that weird looking kid over there? That nerd? No, I don't know him. Good. Bert, hello, my good friend. Uh, hey, Eagle, watch this. Oh, nice one. Come on, let's get out of here. I don't believe it. He, he totally betrayed me. Told ya! Uh, hi, hi, Leo. Is this how you've got my back, Bert? After all the times I stood up for you at Sunday school. But, but Eli is way cooler than anyone in Sunday school. If people see me with him, maybe they won't think I'm such a bully. That's funny. Today was the first time I've actually seen you act like a bully. I'm sorry. It was an awful thing to do. I'll, I'll, I'll help you fix it. I'll, I'll do anything. But please, can we still be friends? That depends. Will we be friends when you're at archery practice? Leo, look, I'll still hang out with you. Just not in front of Eagle, all right? See you at Sunday school, Bert. <sighs> Hey, Mimi, I... Oh, hi, Gabe. Don't mind me. I was just remembering. Yeah, I, I was just wondering if I could get past you since you're sitting on the stairs and... It's just, with all the stuff we've been talking about in church over the last week, it reminded me of my little lost friends. Um, isn't that just a picture of you, Mimi? It's a picture of me and my little flower friends. Janitor Jerry asked me to take care of the hydrangea bush last fall. It was my first real gardening project. I watered and fertilized them. I would sneak them bits of pork chops for my dinner, even though my parents said that it would spoil them. I didn't care. I love them! <sighs> I thought it would go on like that forever. But then, disaster struck. Uh, do you mean winter? I mean disaster. Wintry. Disaster. It turned gold and, and, and. There was nothing I could do but miss them. <laughs> oh, um, I'm, I'm sorry you lost your flowers last fall, but it's almost spring. 
why are you so upset about it now? Well, well, the same thing is happening in church right now. We've been hearing all these great stories about Jesus and the people he helped, and then... And then... He died! Yeah, that is pretty awful. First my flowers, and then Jesus! Technically, I think it was Jesus first, since it was a couple thousand years ago, but... I don't have time for math, game. Death is everywhere. Yeah, but... Why does everything have to die? Mimi, you're forgetting the best part of Jesus' death. The best part? There was no best part. The Son of God died. The best part was that he came back from the dead. So he wasn't really dead? No, he was dead. So he came back like a zombie? That's terrible! What? No, he was alive. Like alive alive. Wait, so if Jesus came back, then that might mean... Wait, Mimi, where are you going? Gabe, look, look, look! My hydrangeas are coming back! Well, yeah, that's what hydrangeas do. Surprise! This is so great! My flowers came back, and then Jesus came back! Technically, Jesus came back... I'm gonna go get them an Easter present! You're all getting little Easter bonnets! Thanks, Gabe. You're the best! Wait, flowers can wear hats? You know, Mom, I think it's pretty great that we're starting a church carpool, helping the community, it's environmentally friendly, and hey, I won't be so lonely back here in the... Oh, uh, Mom? This is Bert's house. Why are we stopping here? Oh, boy. Good morning. Thanks for picking me up, Gabe's mom. Hey, Gabe. Yeah, hi. This carpool thing was a bad idea. Only one passenger in and I'm suffocating. Oh, to go back to the days of youth when things were simple. Gabe. When cabin room was valued above all else. Gabe. Yes, Gabe. What? I asked you how your weekend was. Oh. Thanks for picking me up, Mrs. Gabe's mom. Hello, Gabe. Hello, Bert. Hi, Fiona. How was your weekend? It was magnificent! My mother and I toured the botanic gardens and saw hundreds of different plants. My allergies did suffer. However, uh, oh, here I go. Achoo! Gesundheit. Achoo! Gesundheit. Achoo! Gesundheit. The carpool. Strangers crammed into automobiles like human sardines. How could a person continue Yay! being a... What? What? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. I was just asking if you had any allergies. Allergies? No, I... Really? Not a single one? I have 29 allergies. I'm allergic to pollen, I'm allergic to peanuts, I'm allergic to bumblebees, I'm allergic to monosodium. There is no comfort here for me. Only allergies. Heavy breathing and the wails of toddlers. And who is that man in the business suit? This carpool is a curse. My only relief is my memories of less crowded times. Gesundheit. If I have to take one more minute of this carpool, I am going We're to... We're here! Thanks for the ride, Gabe's mom. Thank you, Mrs. Gabe's mom. Yay! Uh, uh, thanks, mom. Hey, Gabe. I just wanted to say it's really cool that you and your mom are giving us a ride. My parents work on the weekends, and I wouldn't be able to come to Sunday school otherwise. I know it's probably a tight squeeze, but just know I really appreciate it. You know what, Bert? Don't mention it. It's just a carpool. Happy to do it. This is 
it, Gabe. At last, answers. Um, answers to what, Leo? Every Easter season, we celebrate Jesus rising from the dead. And every Easter, I wonder how. How did he do it? Well, he's Jesus. Yes, but how? Was it cellular regeneration? Some kind of self-resurrecting chemical? So many questions. But this Easter season, I shall have answers. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? It's an antenna. How did you afford a gigantic antenna? It's called saving your allowance, Gabe. Leo, without getting too technical, what is this experiment going to do? Right. I'll let my robot Pat explain this experiment in the simplest of terms. Master, lightning strikes antenna. Lightning travels to box with that flower. Flower returns to life. Wow, that is simple. Thanks, Pat. Praise and thanks. Here we go, Gabe. Answers at last. <laughs> oh, yes, <laughs> yes, it's working. <laughs> Oh, no! No, 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 no! It's supposed to do that! Wait for it! Wait for it! No! Oh, man! All I did was invent some kind of new antimatter. Again. Well, that's pretty cool, too. But I was so close to finally having a concrete answer. I mean... I want to believe in Jesus' resurrection, but how can I if I don't know exactly how he did everything? You know, I'll bet the disciples felt the same way when Jesus first rose from the dead. Are you kidding? The disciples had it so much easier. They were there. I thought they were really confused and kind of terrified when Jesus returned. Would you like to play dodgeball? But how can I have any peace with all these questions? Well, maybe that's why the first thing Jesus said to the disciples was, peace be with you. That's true. He didn't go into a lecture on molecular biology. He said, peace be with you. And now that I think about it, he really seemed more concerned with the disciples knowing that he came back to life, not how he came back to life. Huh. That is actually quite comforting. Thank you, Gabe. Uh, sure. So what about this new antimatter you invented? Well, I think I may have figured out how to make anti-gravity dodgeball a reality. Hallelujah. So all we have to do is keep an eye on Mrs. Downey's petting zoo for a few hours? Psh, no problem. I'm just a little nervous about feeding the ostriches. I don't think her petting zoo has ostriches. Well then, this'll be a piece of cake. Okay, so we have sheep. Where are the rest of the animals? I think this is it. Mrs. Downey's petting zoo only has sheep? Do we even get to call ourselves zookeepers if it's just sheep? No, I think that just makes us shepherds. So this'll be pretty easy. Really? There's like 30 sheep here and only two of us. Gabe, we just learned about this in church. Jesus said, <clears throat> I am the good shepherd, and being a shepherd is super easy. I mean, just look at them. It does look like they just wander around and eat grass. See, this will be a piece of cake. <laughs> oh, look, boulders. <laughs> no, wait. Come back, sheep. All right, fine. Just don't go far. Hey, sheep, you're in the way. Hello. <sighs> ah, that's better. Thanks, sheep. Hey, Mimi, did we have more sheep when we started? Maybe. Do you think we should have counted them? Yeah, it just seems like these sheep might need us to really watch out for them or something. I mean, like that one over there. It's just going along like it doesn't have a care in the world until... 
That bear grabs it and carries it away. Ah! A bear! <gasps> it gets worse. All the sheep are gone. Oh, no! We lost all the sheep? We're terrible shepherds. I feel awful. Okay, let's just think. What would Jesus try, given our present circumstances? Well, Jesus wouldn't have let this happen. He's pretty universally known as the Good Shepherd. Well, we can be Good Shepherds, too, by getting our sheep back from that bear. This will be a piece of cake! I'm beginning to wonder if she knows what cake is. Gabe, come on! So I was thinking, if we're the sheep that Jesus watches over, that's got to be even more work. I mean... Wait, did... Do you hear that? What is... Mr. Bear's petting zoo and theme park? So the bear stole all those sheep for its own petting zoo? That seems to be the size of it. Okay. How much money do you have on you? Uh, six dollars and change. All right, let me do the talking. <sighs> hey, they've got ostriches here! Leo, what are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just gathering some analysis. Hey, isn't this when Bert shot down your flying thingy to impress Eagle Eye Edwards? Yeah, and then he just walks off like nothing ever happened. I've said it before, Leo. You have got to get some sun lamps in here. You know what really gets me? Is that before he was friends with Eagle Eye, Bert was a really nice guy. Now he's like a totally different person. Yeah, and now he and Eagle Eye are off doing whatever the super cool kids do. I wonder what that is. Oh, we don't have to wonder. Here. What's all this? My surveillance cameras. They're all over the city. You know, I think it's kind of weird that you have cameras all over the city. I think it's kind of weird that you don't. Ah, there they are. Look at him, laughing about how much fun it was wrecking my copter. Ugh! I can't stand him! You know, Leo, for a smart guy, you don't have a great memory for what we learned in Sunday school. What are you talking about? God loves us and wants us to love everyone. Meaning our family and friends. And probably strangers we don't know or people that we just met. <laughs> um, no, Leo. God means everyone. Even ex-friends who totally betrayed us? Yep. So what, I'm supposed to forgive and love Bert? Why don't I just write sap on my forehead? Not just Bert. God means for us to love everyone. W what No way! I barely even know Eagle Eye Edwards, and what I do know about him, I really don't like. God can't possibly mean... I mean... Well, this is ridiculous. How am I supposed to love them? How does God love you? Or me? I mean, we're not perfect, Leo, but God still loves us. It's not that simple. No, it's not. Trust me, I know. All we can do is look to God for help. What if Bert just rejects me again? Well, then he's pretty dumb. All right, I'll try. Hey, wait a second. You don't love Bert. You're usually pretty mean to him. Like I said, I'm not perfect, but at least I'm trying. When have you ever tried to love Bert? Right now, by convincing his best friend to forgive him. 
Now turn off your creepy spy stuff and let's get some fresh air. All right, Bert, now slowly breathe out on the release. Yeah, bullseye! Did you see that, Eagle Eye? I see everything. My sight's better than 2020. Hi, Eagle Eye. Hi, Bert. Yo. Look um, at his skull. Hi. It's so much better. Yeah, you guys They're are so cool. awesome. Oh, oh you're yeah, so cool, you're so et right this time. Uh, I'm gonna be like them when I grow up in a year. Who are they? I don't know. Look, Bert, when you hang out with me, you don't have to know who people are. They have to know who you are. Here, wear these. Oh, wow. That's really green. You get used to it. <sighs> hey, Eagle Eye, who's your new friend? What? You don't know this guy? This is Bert the Bully. So watch your step, shrimp. He's a pretty mean dude. Whoa! All right. Sorry, Mr. Mr. Bully, sir. Bert the Bully? Yeah, I heard the other kids calling you that. It's a good name. Useful. It's just that I'm not a bully. Maybe so, but you've got potential, Bert. With my cooler-than-cool style and your brute strength and simmering anger, we could rule this school. Hey, isn't that that weird kid whose toy plane you shot down with an arrow and we totally laughed about it? He is? Where? Over there, in the super far distance. Um, yeah. What about him? Nothing. I was just remembering how funny it was. Classic Bert the Bully. Reckon a weird kid's dumb plane? It was a copter. And his name is Leo. Wait, you actually know that kid? Yes. He's my friend. That kid was your friend? He is my friend. And I shouldn't have wrecked his copter. Nah, he can't be your friend, because I'm your friend. If I were connected to him in some way, that wouldn't be cool. Here, hold this. I'm starting to think you and I being friends isn't cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Think about what you're saying. You stop being friends with me, and you can forget about hanging out with the cool kids. Seems like an awful lot to give up for a weirdo like that. His name is Leo! That was my arrow. <laughs> I thought she said you weren't a bully. I'm working on it. Hey! No one walks away from Eagle Eye Edwards. You're gonna regret this! Hey. Hey. Hand me that screwdriver? Sure. Wow, wow Ruby, is this your tent? Because it's bigger than my house. <laughs> Welcome to the Camping Crusader Spring Canoe and Camping Trip. Now that we've made camp, let's check our supplies. Oh, yeah, Chet, absolutely. I brought my tent, my backpack, an apple, and my water bottle. For... Ah! You could bring all that stuff. Or you could do some real camping. Eagle Eye Edwards? The coolest kid in school. <gasps> Gasp. Who's Eagle Eye Edwards? He's the guy who just fired an arrow inside a tent, which is super dangerous, by the way. The only danger around here is being bored to death by your lame camping trip. And why are you bringing so many supplies? All I need is my bow. My family comes from a long line of outdoors people who have passed down their knowledge for generations. What about you? Well, you can't argue with that. Come on, let's go do some real camping. 
sorry, Chet. I ever tell you about the time I made a campfire with just a glass bottle and my intense stare? Wow. Can you teach us? Like I said to the bear, I once fought off with just a spoon. Anytime, anywhere. Eagle Eye Edwards has what it takes. Now who wants to volunteer to carry the canoe to the river? Ooh, 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 ooh. I am so tired. It might have been easier if Eagle Eye had helped paddle the canoe. Took us way longer to get here than I thought. You three should make a fire. I thought you were gonna use your intense stare. Nah, not in the mood. Why don't you get some food ready too? We don't have any food. Why don't you use your bow? Well, that's not really what I use my bow for. Then what do you use it for? Distractions, mostly. Wow, that was an amazing shot, Eagle Eye. Eagle Eye? Dear Gabe, Ruby, and Kiki. Um, I think it's Mimi, isn't it? I decided to leave. You'll be fine or not, whatevs. Sincerely, Eagle Eye Edwards. Wait, he just left us? And now the sun is going down? <laughs> this is not good. We're going to be eaten. We're going to be eaten! There you are. Chet! Oh, thank goodness. It was terrible. All of Eagle Eye's stories were just stories. Well, like my mom says, the only camping stories worth telling are ones based on experience and wisdom. Those stories have withstood the test of time. Anyone can say they fought a bear with a spoon. All right, I'll be right back. Everyone, pay attention. Uh, nice, wild animals. Don't eat me. <laughs> I won't eat you. Uh, hey, hey, w wa watch the arrow. Oh. Oh. I, g I guess you can't really see arrows in the dark. Um, I'll, I'll teach you things. I'll teach you uh, how to be cool. Oh, man. Thank you.